for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Hi, and welcome back to our tutorials on the fundamentals of HTML. In this video, I want to show you how to create some links. We're going to begin by showing you how to create just a simple link between pages. And you can see here I've added some text, and here I want to create several more links. I've actually already inserted one to the home page. So whenever I click here, it's going to go to whatever the index.html page is. But I have a link here to go to another page, the second page in my website. And I also have a link here for emailing and a link here for an external site to go to the Create the Net website. So I'm actually going to learn how to create a variety of different styles of links here. Let's go ahead and go into Code View and then actually Live View and we can see the preview along with the code right here. And actually, you know what, for right now, I'm going to close off this live view here and go just directly into code, and that way I can see more. And you're going to see that a link is actually just an A tag, and the A tag has one attribute, or at least one attribute, and then the text that's going to form the link. Now, in my case, these are also paragraphs. But I could have just as easily done this as a list, and usually when you do have navigation on a um, on a web page, it is going to be in a list. But um, I've just placed them in paragraphs here. So what I want to do is I want to make this a link to a site called Second Page. So I'm going to go ahead and actually I'm going to create the page before I link to it. And in Dreamweaver, all I have to do is right-click on that folder and select New File. And it's going to bring me up the opportunity to name that file. Now, I can name it whatever I want. I could name it, you know, again, Bob. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to name it second.htm. And again, this is going to be a link to this page. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to open this on up and I'm going to put my basic HTML in there. And I'm going to have a head section here with a title tag. The title tag will be, or the title will be second page. I'm going to close that. Then I'm going to close the head section. And then I'm going to open the body section. And you're going to remember the head section contains instructions for the browser. The body section contains your content. And I'm going to do a heading. I'm just going to call it second page. And then just some text on the page. I'm just going to say link works. Close my P tag. Close my body tag. And very important, close my HTML tag up here at the top. And again, you can up, oh, you know what I noticed? There's a mistake right there. I need to change that. And there we go. So there's a real simple first or second page. And if I go into a live view here, you'll see the way it's going to look. I'm going to right click on that tab and click save and close it and now I'm back in my index page. So I'm going to come here and I'm actually going to delete second page. So now I'm just right inside of my P tag. And I'm going to begin to create my link by opening an A tag and an A tag stands for an anchor and I'm going to put the link attribute in, which is href. And this is a lot like when we did the um, browsing for um, other types of objects. It put the quotation marks in there for me automatically, and I click Browse, and there was the image that I saw last time, but there's the web page itself. 
I'm going to go ahead and click that and then click OK and you'll see it automatically put that in there for me and if I had enclosed this in some folders it would have um, put the path in there for me. And now I need to close my anchor tag and place the text that I want to show up. I created the link here but you're going to see if I go into live view there's no text for me to click on. So I'll click right back up in there right in between the opening A tag and the closing A tag and type second page. And now that text appears on the page. Let's create one more link in this video. I'm going to create a link that goes to an external website. In this case it's going to go to the website createthenet.com. So what I'm going to do is, before I deleted this, but I'm just going to go ahead and close out of live view, just go into code view here, and I'm going to begin by putting an A tag and then putting in the href attribute. I'm going to browse to that file. Oh, wait a minute. There is no link here in my folder to go to an external website. So I'm going to have to click cancel. That browse option is only going to work for me when it's an internal page. When it's an external page, I just have to know the URL. Now, if it's a very long URL, I'd recommend copying and just pasting it here. If it's a really long URL, you can use a URL shortening service like bit.ly.com in order to uh, make a shorter um, reference. But in this case, I'm just going to type in the full address, http colon forward slash forward slash, and you do need that. You just can't type in www. Then www.createthenet.com. And then I'm going to close my A tag there. You'll see the A tag open there and close there. And then I'm going to come over here, and just like before, when I've got an opening tag, I need to have a closing tag. So I'm going to close my A tag. There's my closing P tag. And now when I come into Live View here, you're going to see that Create the Net now is a link. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the uh, website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.